Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now, huge thank you to Kalantak for sending through his footage via Avizone. Definitely check out Avizone, an amazing messaging and file transfer service. They have partnered up with my channel and uh, I couldn't love them more. They're easy to use and completely free. So check out all the necessary links in the video description and you will also find my contact information via avizone there so if you do want to submit your own gameplay for potentially being featured on my channel do not hesitate to do so reach out to me and uh, let's make it happen that being said <laughs> let's take a look at this little trash panda right here so it is 606 rank 4 rocket raccoon now obviously a part of this reason has to be the fact that Rocket Raccoon is getting a buff, but it is, needless to say, a massive kind of risk uh, to rank up Rocket before knowing exactly how the buff is going to turn out. But even pre-buff, his damage numbers and damage output is uh, quite solid, I would like to say. <laughs> Here we can see he's going up against a 60k PI Wolverine um, Weapon X. No, Wolverine X23, my bad. And we're about to see 146k crit on that level too. That was a, quite a sweet amount of damage right there. I, I do suspect it had some enhancements from nodes there, seeing as it was like Act 7 fight most likely. But uh, later on, we're definitely going to see some fights in Labyrinth and Realm of Legends as well, where we're going to see his like real damage output. Speaking of... Here is Labyrinth of Legends Old Man Logan. So one thing to keep in mind, obviously, is the class advantage that uh, tech champions have our mutants. So Rocket is getting a bit of boost there. We can see War Machine pre-fights. And also there is a synergy, evidently, that places armor break on opponents upon critical hits, I believe. I'm not entirely sure how that armor break functions, but uh, I, I don't even know which synergy it is, to be honest, but... Uh, but there it is nonetheless, and now he's wheeling in 19k medium crits from get-go. Now, unfortunately, does get wrecked by a heavy attack, and uh, that War Machine's pre-fight there comes in handy by shrugging off the stun. He goes for a level 1 here in order to gain cruelty. You can see that he's taking recoil damage, so Liquid Courage Double Edge is active as well. So basically, this little Trash Panda is getting buffed up uh, like no tomorrow there with attack bonus from Liquid Courage Double Edge. And obviously, the rest of the pre-fights, you can see Magneto House Effects pre-fight there as well. Obviously, it's a shame that the second hit of level 2 there does get limited uh, by Labyrinth of Legends damage cap. I really think at this point, they should just remove that damage cap and let us have some fun in Labyrinth. Like, Labyrinth is hardly a relevant content for rewards for, like, vast majority of the people. And it's like how much of a possible harm it could do to remove that damage cap right now. You know, I think everybody would welcome it. People who have long since done it could use it for better testing and, you know, get some massive, massive big numbers going. And uh, people who have yet to clear it, you know, could have slightly easier time. So why not? That being said, obviously the little rocket here is absolutely nuking into that old man Logan Right, the little trash panda on his jetpack. Come on, let's go in for a full combo. 17k, and again, capped by 50k. Unfortunately, that. So we didn't get to see that level 2 crit here completely, but no worries. 122 hits, that's definitely respectably fast. Now, this seems to be a Realm of Legends vision that he's going up against, and... Uh, now we can see that uh, War Machine pre-fights are no longer available here as he is taking Liquid Courage and Double Edge damage. But let's see. So, uh, from the get-go, at this point he's already critting for like 11k. And pretty much every hit is crit, or almost every hit is a crit. Um, possibly a solid option for last week's meta in Battlegrounds. Take in a Trash Panda and hit the opponent until they faint. And there we go, a nice level 2 and 96k. So in that previous clip, it would have been even more because of class advantage and uh, the pre-fights and all that stuff. Well, 96k, so it was like 120k, something. 40 hits, Realm of Legends fight done. Um, not bad. <laughs> I would like to say that it's not too shabby. Now up against uh, Black Panther. Can he do it in quicker than 40 hits? 
I think the answer there lies in uh, whether or not he is running Courage Mastery. Courage Mastery is a mastery that I absolutely love to run pretty much at all times, but I have stopped doing so since Battlegrounds, because your plan is to never be below 50% in Battlegrounds. Uh, but here we go. So now he is below 50. I did not notice if he received an attack increase there, but uh, whether he did or did not, obviously the damage is still quite brutal there. 16k and 97k now so it is slightly higher than it was could it be that it's one point in courage can we suspect that oh no the last hit didn't crit but the 2.5k bleed is quite juicy there nonetheless and so this fight lasted uh exact 40 hits yet again so this seems to be uh well rocket healed up now now we're gonna see rocket with class advantage so this should break the 100k limit here also we can see that uh, you do have the pre-fight from uh, war machine here and immediately increasing damage output is noticeable instead of 11k crits he's going for 13k crits nearly 14k and uh, now let's see that level 2 18k and 111 nearly 112 unfortunately he eats a few hits there rocket actually does need his combo higher in order to be basically guaranteeing his crits i believe but here we go or which was it crit rate or crit damage that increases with rocket's combo i actually have completely forgotten about this little trash band in the game that's why it's quite exciting to see what kabam is going to do when they buff him up and uh, I suspect that there's going to be nobody, nobody in the entire game more invested in Rocket's buff than Kalantak here. So let's check it out. So again, class advantage against Deadpool, and uh, looks like he's pretty much dead by the time he gets to level two. Yep, he didn't even get to level two. Is that the Deadpool that all the CCP guys are testing and showing us rotations of rank four champions needing to do? level two and level one and then you go for level three and then there's lots of damage um well good old rocket says i don't even need a level two <laughs> he's fast though like he is old school definition of glass cannon but a massive cannon like that's a big cannon <laughs> that he's carrying okay i remember in good old days, Rocket was considered to be a legitimate Labyrinth of Legends option when, if you didn't have Star Lord, uh, when the options were far and few in between. So, take a look at we have Venom the Duck. Okay. No worries. Little Venom the Duck. So, class disadvantage here. Nice 20k heavy there. Again, both crit. So he's trying to bait out the level 1. No problem. Getting his armor break refreshed. And boom. First hit of level 2. Again, the big crit of level 2. Completely unnecessary, even with the class disadvantage. 24 hits here. And uh, whenever the duck goes down. And obviously, the mandatory. The mandatory. Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. Yo. Suspect he saved it for the very end. I still also, well, I, I know when you dash back and you start that scanning thing, it gives you like physical resistance charges and then energy resistance charges and then something else as well. So that reminded me that Rocket actually did get buffed at some point. First level two, ooh, he has a tech power boost active in this one. That's what's interesting. So he has the tech power boost. But uh, yeah, so how quick was this? 39 hits here. Pretty much the same thing though that before. Uh, what is this fight? I think this is from Act 8, one of the weapon nodes, but it looks, yeah, this is one of the weapon nodes where when you parry, you get disorients against these guys. But, and w was it 100k heavy attacks? Really? Yep, that was 115k heavy attacks. Oh, sweet. <laughs> one of those weapon nodes with a uh, heavy attack increase and this is from good old gold quest i'm not entirely sure why it's here but uh 
And let's see how quickly exactly this rocket dispatches from uh, this gold pool over here. Okay, then. Okie doke. One full combo. Two full combos. And that's half health gone. Expect three full combos in level one should probably do it. Okay. Another full combo. Yeah, well, four full combos. There we go. There we go. And that is the video about Trash Panda. So let me know what you guys think. And again, obviously, the best thing about this is that as soon as Rockets Buffs go live, I will ask Talentech to send over some more gameplay with the buffed rocket. So meanwhile, hit that like button, hit that sub button, so you guys don't miss out on the post buff rocket raccoon. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next